Let's look at a weekly doesn't really look much different. I don't know what to say about this one. And because I don't know what to say, we're going to leave it off the list. By the way, the fact that it even made the screen that we're going through, it's already a market leader. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to pick the best of the absolute best. And we do that based on activity, not hopes and dreams. So here you have your shakeout. It's gone into another consolidation. So this one has a potential buy set up in it right now. You're going to buy, a, you know, I would buy a breakout of 155 with a stop loss around 148. If I'm going to risk 200 bucks, this says buy 13 shares. Well, okay. I don't know that I'm going to trade it or not, but I'll put it on the list so you can take a look at it in your own time. Monday.com, have no idea what this is. There's your box. There's your shakeout, huge consolidation. Let's take a peek at a weekly real quick. A weekly chart has a run up followed by a shakeout, run up followed by a shakeout, run up followed by a shakeout. That's accumulation almost always. The trouble is whether or not it shakes you out. That's why risk control is so important. You know, if you're gonna trade off of a weekly chart, you have to adjust your trade positions based on what you think the weekly chart price action is gonna do. So if I trade this based on a daily chart, I'm going to buy six shares now according to, uh, according to this. If I flip this over to a weekly, on a weekly chart, in order to balance the account out for volatility, it's telling me only buy two shares. Why? 